Uh, do you have an earthquake kit? No, I do not. How come? Uh, I got lazy about it, I guess. That's the laissez-faire attitude of a lot of Californians. There's plenty of like rubbing alcohol, bandages of different sizes, um, making sure that I have like latex-free options. Um, so it sounds like you're ready for an injury. What about food and water? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not close. <laughs> you know you should have one. I will start on it right away. <laughs> A study from the Public Policy Institute in 2014 showed half of Californians had an earthquake kit. So that means about 19 million people were not prepared that year. And it's not like we haven't been warned. One should always be preparing for a big one. For a long time. We're going to be on our own for a minimum of 72 hours. What do you do? What does that mean? So what's behind the lack of planning? This has been an extremely quiet, abnormal time. You know, if you don't have an earthquake for years, you just kind of forget about it. You know. Everyone procrastinates until there's a disaster, and then they call. Jeff Patty Ocean runs Earthshake's disaster supply store with his wife in Burlingame, out of a room in the back of his insurance office. And if there's not any activity, people aren't thinking about it. So if you own a brick and mortar store, how are you paying the rent and paying your employees? You, you can't. Most of his business is now online, and his website lit up after the Los Angeles earthquake. This is a typical two-person uh, kit, dust mask, instructions, uh, leather gloves. You always need gloves with all the glass and everything. Do you have one at home? Oh, we have 13 Rubbermaid storage containers full of items ready to go. But all of our neighbors know who's, you know, <laughs> has the business and said, we'll be over.